Hello Toons fans, it's your friendly YouTuber, Toons the Gamer. Welcome back to the channel after months. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I had a lot of problems. I had to get myself a new PC. I had to get a lot of stuff done. Yeah, I was just rough. Um, anyways. I did work on a lot of things while I was absent, so at least that's good. Anyways, today we were going to be doing something scary, something different. And I don't know about you guys, but the best scary thing is a creepypasta. I mean, these stories are the best. I love creepypastas. They just got really good stories on most of them. And I thought, why not read a creepypasta? Because, well, I'm not sure if I've done that on the channel yet. So I was going to read one related to the topic of the channel, mostly, which is Baldi's Basics. So, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please like, comment down below what your favorite game is, and your favorite character and subscribe with the notifications on it really supports the channel and we would appreciate it anyways let's get into the story shall we this story is about Baldi's Basics Plus yes the first Baldi's Basics Plus creepypasta Am I right? I could be wrong. Well, I've looked on the internet and I haven't seen no Baldi's Basics Plus creepypastas. But anyway, here is one. Going to read it. It's by Player1999. And yeah, let's get into it, Toons fans. I was always a big fan of the game. In fact, that game was my go-to every day. Whenever I had the time, I'd always get on my PC and play it. What's this game, you may ask? The name of the game was Baldi's Basics Plus. Yeah, I'm talking about the creepy, horrible graphics, horror, edutainment game with a bald teacher in it. The game was wacky and had randomly generated levels that I loved to collect the notebooks in. The game has been around since 2018 and has grown popularity since. I used to dislike the game. In fact, I thought it was just something that was too silly rather than scary. I would always browse YouTube and see all these videos about it though. It tempted me to click one. After watching a video, I've grown to love the game since. My favorite character was Baldi, his full name being Baldi Baltimore. I always thought he was so silly, but I guess I was wrong. Because the second time I got the notebook, he started to frown. I didn't realize this game I've been seeing in the Let's Plays was a horror game, not an edutainment game. That's misspelled. I did like that it had edutainment elements to it though, such as math, and that it took place in a school with a teacher and facility, or faculty. So yeah, that's where we are now. The game has released many games since it became a full-on series, well, kinda. They were still the same and there wasn't any new lore, much that is until a new game came out. Baldi's Basics Plus. Which has to be my favorite bald game in the whole series. There's not much math in it, and when there is math, all you do is collect a number balloon and put it into the math machine for the correct answer. This was so wonderful for me because it was fun rather than typing 
way more fun than the original ball game. So I would spend hours and hours on it. Every day. Okay, yeah, that's misspelled right there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, I did take a few breaks though. Every once in a while, I decided to collect all the merch of it. Because that just made me happy and supporting the creator was all I wanted to do. One day, I lost my game key. I really wanted to play a game, but when I went on Steam, my account was gone. The only thing that remained was the Steam login screen. I was very devastated someone had hacked my account and deleted it. I didn't have any money left and I really wanted to play the Baldi game. So I searched online to see if I could find any trace of my account or my Steam key. However, that didn't help. There was no sign of it. There was not even a sign of it getting deleted in my email. I found this strange. How could it have been deleted if I didn't get notified? You would think my email would have notified me first. I was really wanting to play that game so bad, I thought maybe I should play Baldi's Basics Classic instead. But I felt it wouldn't be the same. I missed the randomly generated floors, the number balloons, and loads more content. And I didn't have enough money to buy the game again. So I looked online to see if there were any cheaper copies, and I found one. There was a listing on eBay. It was a Baldi's Basics Plus key, but it was cheaper than the other ones on Steam. I know this wouldn't be supporting the creator if I bought this, but I did already support him when someone deleted my Steam account. The key was only five bucks. It was a lot cheaper than I thought. And luckily I had five bucks. So I added it to the cart and ordered it. After I ordered it, I decided to create a new Steam account. Then I went into my email and got my key. Typed it into the Steam. The next thing that happened was amazing. The key had worked, even for only being five bucks. The game popped up on Steam and downloaded. However, after I saw it was done, downloading, the icon then that popped up wasn't your normal Baldi icon for Baldi's Basics Plus. It didn't even have Baldi. All it had was the name of the game Baldi's Basics Plus in bold text. I couldn't believe this. Is the Is this even the game? Or did I get tricked into buying a bootleg? I sure hope not. I then clicked the game. It popped up the normal Baldi's Basics Plus screen. Baldi was just saying his normal lines. So I typed in my name in the main menu, and the main menu popped up. It seemed just like Baldi's Basics Plus. The game even had the trademark logo, and it said it was created by Basically Games. So this must be legit, not a bootleg. That gave me some hope, so I clicked play. It then popped up modes, and of course I clicked hide and seek mode because that's the story mode. The game loading screen popped up. I couldn't believe it. I was about to play Baldi's Basics Plus again. It's been a while after it was done loading, the elevator popped up, and the familiar tune in the elevator played. The elevator then opened, showing Baldi standing there waving, saying, Oh, hard. Let's play hide and seek. I was happy to see Baldi again, but then went to grab the first notebook. Baldi didn't count yet. Although, the notebook also wasn't too far away, so I walked over to the second notebook. Baldi still didn't count. I shrugged it off and just figured it was just a bug, and that Baldi would be chasing after me soon. However, when I went to grab the third notebook, 
after the second, he still didn't count. I figured this was weird and that Baldy was supposed to be chasing me by now. Then I went to grab the last notebook of the first floor. The fourth notebook. I did not hear Baldy say anything when I was supposed to. He was supposed to say, congratulations, you found off all four notebooks. Now all you need to do is find a way out before I catch you. Ha ha ha. With a laugh. But he didn't. He was silent. And when I walked to the exit, he wasn't even there. If this was a bug, he would be standing there still smiling. Right? I didn't even hear him in the level at all. I walked through the elevator, and the screen went black. It took a while to load, but when it finally did, it was a few minutes after. I was back in the elevator, and the seat popped up, and it also shone floor two. I clicked the button and started the floor. The elevator door opened, and Baldy was there again. I thought it might be a bug, but was it? This time he didn't speak, I was wondering. I thought he was supposed to say something. That's what I remember, but he didn't. He was just silent, standing there, staring with those black pixelated oval eyes. His appearance was normal, however, his actions were different. Instead of talking, he was just staring the whole time. I walked over to get the first notebook. Still no counting. Then I walked over to get the second notebook. No counting still. I walked over to get the third and not any counting. He was not chasing me in this game. This game was getting boring. Collecting the books is not supposed to be the fun part. The fun part of the game is being chased and being forced to collect the books while you are getting chased. But why wasn't Baldy chasing me? Could he have gotten bored of me? Could the game be buggy? Something is wrong here. After a while, I was at the seventh notebook in the second floor. When I went to the exit, it closed off like normal. Then I went to the second exit, also closed off. Then I went to the third and final exit of the second floor. What I saw shocked me. Baldy was standing there, but his back was turned towards me. I couldn't see his face. He was blocking the exit. The only way to beat the second floor was to grab the third exit. But Baldy was just there this time, silent, back faced towards me. After a few minutes, my player character got stuck in place. I couldn't move. The game screen then started to shake and get all glitched and corrupted. Baldy's face filled my screen, but it was not your average ordinary Baldy. His eyes were missing, replaced by two gaping holes. Blood was running down his face. He was extremely pixelated, and the text, text flashed that said, you were never alone. Just accept fate and be owned. I tried to shut the game off, but it didn't work. My whole computer wouldn't work, so I unplugged it. But he was still there on the screen. How is that possible? I cut the power out of the computer. Suddenly, the face disappeared and was replaced back with the game screen and Baldy was nowhere to be found. He was gone and the exit was open. My player character could move again and I moved to the exit. The loading screen actually didn't show up this time and the elevator showed up instead. Oh, there he is. That's the creepy Baldy. Popped up again However, something was strange. 
this time instead of the normal numbers like the C was supposed to have, it had a message that read, Baldi's Revenge. Nine negative nine 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 zero nine 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 zero nine 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 and the floor was floor nine nine nine. I thought this was odd. I've never seen something so messed up before because No this couldn't be a bug, right? I should decide to push the button and start the level. When I did I made a mistake. Baldy was nowhere to be found once again, and the whole floor was not normal. The walls and floors of the building were black. And the walls were covered in the seed coat again. Negative 9990999099 over and over again on every wall. The lights were red, and the floor just seemed like a pixelated mess. I looked at how many notebooks I had to collect. The number was nine, just like normal. On the third floor. There wasn't no game ambits though. And my sound was turned all the way up. And so was the music. But there was just no sound at all, not even the opening of a door. As much as that could be a good thing because Baldy wouldn't know where I am. It was bad. But there was not a single sound in the game. This all seemed way more creepier than it should. Isn't Baldi's Basics Plus supposed to be a parody horror game? I've played the game and beat it many times. But this was different from any gameplay experience I've ever had. I went to grab the first notebook. It popped up one out of nine. I kept going, then I heard something. The only sound in the game. Slapping. When Baldy was supposed to be counting. This was the first time I heard the slap in a while. But where was Baldy? I grabbed a few more notebooks. There were no characters around, except for Baldy. Or, well, the slaps of Baldy, because Baldy was not seen. I now had seven out of nine notebooks. I realized I'm almost done with this game. I almost beat it. However, when I grabbed the eighth one, I heard a really loud, static sound. And then, when I turned around, I saw Baldy there slapping a ruler on his hand. His face was still disturbing, unlike the normal Baldy that I knew. The static seemed to have been coming from him, along with those slaps. When I thought he was going to give me a game over, he just stood there watching the screen with those gaping holes of eyes he had. The game then froze my player character, was stuck in place once again. And somehow that Baldy, that thing, whatever he may have may have been, had stepped towards the screen and spoke up in that in-game character voice. This is what happens when you challenge me so many times. Are you ready to know how I feel, my player? You ready to join me and the others on a fun trip through Pixels? Since you love the game so much and that you are that desperate to challenge me again, how would you like to be the forever player? Baldi's face appeared on the screen. It glitched but turned back to normal. Just when I thought that was a good thing, the screen began to shake. The computer began to glitch and short circuit. Baldi's arms began to reach out. They tightened around me, pulling me towards the screen. I didn't know what to do. I'm now living here in this school playing Baldi's Basics Plus for eternity with Baldi. Writing this note to let you all know. A warning. 
Do not try to download the game from other sites. As they could be the last game you ever play. Wow. That was dark. That was scary. That was sad. That was, yeah, creepy pasta. That was creepy. Anyways, uh, no, that was, I know that was a short one. But I hope you guys did enjoy this first audiobook. Don't worry, I plan on making more audiobooks in the future. I'm going to get some stuff done and take a nap because, well, it's pretty late. Anyways, Toons fans, please like, subscribe, comment down your favorite game and character, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.